Let's take a look at a very simple low-pass filter. A low-pass filter is just simply a circuit which does not pass high frequencies. Only the low frequencies will go through this. So here we notice uh, we have just simply two resistors and a capacitor. And uh, so we might wonder, how does this work? Well, if we take a look at, first of all, the very low frequencies, at very low frequencies, the capacitor is basically not there and we can remove it. So we can say at low frequencies, an example of that would be DC, the gain is it's going to be R2 over R1. The ratio of the feedback resistor to the input resistor. So let's take an example here and um, just build a circuit, make a circuit with uh, some real numbers and see how it's going to behave. So we're just going to simply say let R2 equal 10 k ohms and we'll let R1 equal 1 k. So the gain is equal to R2 over R1 is equal to 10k divided by 1k is clearly equal to 10. But remember that uh, we really want to use dBs when we're going to be plotting gain versus frequency characteristics. So to convert this to, B, to dBs, this is what we do. So convert a gain of 10 to dBs. So how do we do it? Well, we take 20 times the log of the gain, which in this case is 10. And uh, you can see what this is going to work out to be. The log of 10 happens to be 1. So 20 times 1 is simply 20 dBs. So there we go, 20 dBs. Now let's uh, put in a specific value of capacitor. We're going to let the capacitor equal 0.1 microfarads. Now, pretty clearly at some point, at some high frequency, this, ca this capacitor is going to act like a short circuit. And the gain of the circuit isn't going to be 20 dB anymore. The gain of the circuit is going to be like zero. So the question now comes about, at what point does the gain change from being 20 dB to where it begins falling off towards zero? Well, the answer is found in the ratio, the relationship between these two free, uh, characteristics the, of the capacitor and the resistor. And uh, so we're going to uh, invent a brand new term, or introduce a brand new term, and that is the corner frequency. Corner frequency. We just call it F, little c for corner. And that's equal to 1 over 2 pi times R2 over C. If we plug in the numbers for this, that's to say we plug in the numbers of uh, 2 pi times R2, which is 10k, times 0 0.1 microfarads, what we're going to discover is that the corner frequency is equal to 160 Hertz. So let's see what this means. If we were to plot the frequency gain characteristic of this circuit, and we're going to do this on log scales. So this is going to be the gain in dBs. We're going to start off with a gain of 20. And that gain of 20 if um, would like to ultimately stay there forever, but you know eventually the roll-off of the amplifier and so on, the gain bandwidth part is going to cause it to collapse. But uh, before the collapse of the op-amp itself, which characteristic maybe we out here someplace, it's going to hit this quarter frequency of 160 hertz.
And then what happens is it's going to drop off, and it's going to drop off at the rate of 20 dB per decade. So if we went one decade up, one decade would be 10 times this number. So it would be 1600 hertz. There we go. One decade. The characteristic would roll off like this. 20 dB per decade. And uh, 20 dB down from 20 is, of course, 0 dBs, and this is a gain of 1. This is what's called unity gain. And so in this circuit, we could say that the unity gain bandwidth of this circuit is 1600 hertz. So this is going to be a low-pass filter. It's going to pass all these frequencies in here. But uh, as frequencies get higher and higher, they're going to become smaller and smaller and smaller and diminished somewhat. Now, at this point, we might wonder, well, what is the real bandwidth of the circuit? This is the unity gain bandwidth. Unity gain bandwidth. Well, the actual bandwidth is uh, this point right here, the 160 hertz. Now, at that point, the gain will not actually be 20. It will be down slightly. It will be down by 3 decibels. And in fact, if we were to actually plot this curve, it would look more like this. A bit of a smooth curve. There is no actual really sharp fall off like that. There's a gradual roll off like that. And so what we would say is this is actually the 3, 3 dB bandwidth. And this is the unity gain bandwidth.